Why did Gordon Ramsay lose his Michelin stars? Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Film Zone. Gordon Ramsay is pretty well known today. It took him years to earn his reputation, but today he's a distinguished name in the field. This celebrity chef once wanted to be a professional football player, but an injury prompted him to change his mind and pursue a career in the hotel industry. His new career didn't go unnoticed for long because just three years after working at the Arbogine in London, Ramsay managed to earn two Michelin stars for his restaurant. In total, he's earned 16 Michelin stars for various restaurants, but today only holds seven of them. So what happened to his Michelin stars and why did he lose them? Let's find out in today's video. Now, earning a Michelin star is a proud moment for any chef. Even though the stars are credited to the restaurant, as a chef, you're recognized for earning those stars for the hotel. It's also very common for hotels to lose these coveted Michelin stars. Still, Ramsey has found it hard to stomach his losses. After all, he's worked so hard to earn those stars. He once lamented about losing Michelin stars saying, I started crying when I lost my stars. It's a very emotional thing for any chef. It's like losing a girlfriend. You want her back. So why did Ramsey lose those stars in the first place? The reason's pretty simple. His dishes were not consistent. It's really hard to believe Gordon Ramsay being inconsistent, right? Well, it's true and it's not really any fault of his since he's just a young chef making a name for himself. That said, Ramsay is still very popular in the industry today. For instance, his acclaimed eatery restaurant, Gordon Ramsay, has been awarded three Michelin stars since 2001. Ramsay is also the first Scottish chef to win three Michelin stars. That's pretty impressive. In 2013, Ramsay suffered a major blow to his restaurant Gordon Ramsay at the London and New York City ended up losing both its Michelin stars. As per Eater, this had never happened before. No restaurant had ever lost two Michelin stars at once on account of quality concerns. However, things weren't as simple as they seemed. It's true that Ramsay was a crucial part of the restaurant when it first opened its doors in 2006. The restaurant was awarded two Michelin stars in just two years. By 2009, however, Ramsey was facing mounting financial obstacles, so he decided to sell the restaurant. He subsequently handed the eatery over to the London Hotel. A representative for the hotel noted at one time that Gordon Ramsay is not involved in the day-to-day -day running of the restaurants or kitchens as is a licensing agreement, but is in communication regarding updates and changes at the restaurant. Ramsey's reputation took a definite hit after the restaurant lost two Michelin stars. As far as Michelin officials were concerned, Gordon Ramsay at the London simply didn't impress in terms of quality and delivered average meals. The Michelin Guide director, Michael Ellis, explained, We've had issues with consistency, and consistency is a huge thing for us. In 2019, Ramsey expressed his displeasure for chefs who don't take their Michelin stars seriously and end up either giving them back to the organization or refuse to accept the honor in the first place. As far as Ramsey is concerned, this is a team effort and everyone loses out if a chef decides to not accept the designation. Ramsey once exclaimed in an interview, whether it's an Emmy, an Oscar, a BAFTA, or a Michelin star, it's the icing on the cake, not just for the chef, but also for the staff who are equally as focused as the owner. Other chefs such as Sebastian Brass, who let go of three Michelin stars, have claimed that it's too much pressure for him and his team members to worry about. Then there's Andre Chang, who expressed that he didn't wish to be considered by Michelin star officials because he wished to experiment at his eatery in Taiwan without the added stress. As you can see, owning a Michelin star is not really a matter of pride, but rather a lot of stress on your shoulders once you get these stars. Of course, Ramsey begs to differ and continues to take his Michelin stars very seriously. Ramsey also said that the Michelin stars are actually very useful to diners who can use it like a guide while picking restaurants to dine at. With that, we wrap up today's video. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. This way you won't ever miss out on another video from us. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.